Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be doing a 1 versus 5 on African Clearing. And let me go ahead and break down the team. So starting off with team number 2, the opponent team. We got Billy Conforto, he's around 1000 ELO. Chade is around 1000 ELO as well. Noon Cow around 1100. Bad Bit around 1300. And Ulrich around 1300 as well. All team game ELO, they're not playing 1v1s too often. That's team number 2. Team number 1 is going to be GL Hera. Sitting at 2948 rank 1. Oh my god, that guy's horrible. And uh, he's going to have 105% handicap because he is horrible. And he's going to be allowed to pick his sieve. They're all going random. It's question mark, it's hidden, but I trust that they're going to go random. I'm going to go gots just because I have a plan that I want to try and do. And uh, I'm going to have also extra pop. So I have 5% handicap, pick sieve advantage, and extra pop. Uh, and I hope that's going to be enough to take the win today. Uh, but it's going to be really hard because they're 1v5 and they're solid, solid elo level. Uh, on enemy team uh, but i'm excited and uh, i'm gonna pick the gods because i have something sneaky in mind uh we're gonna drop the good luck have fun i'll run you through the strategy don't you worry and i'm rocking my my trusty pokemon blanket because it's so cold in canada they got lithuanians bulgarians malians burgundians okay a lot of good stuff that is an insane tc spot by the way we're gonna definitely drop our tc right in the center of that thank you very much um but i had an idea with the gods okay so uh I could have picked any Civ, and usually Goths are not like the best Civ to pick. Uh, but the thing is, on this map, there's a lot of Hunt, and the new Goth getting um, the new Goth bonus plus 20% Hunt uh, for all of your you know animals, boar, deer, etc. Sounds fantastic. Okay, we found one opponent. Good. That sounds like it's gonna be really good to start things off, and it's gonna let me get free Loom right away, so I could lure boars from further away. So I just feel like Goths will get off to a really solid start here. And if I can get two Husk Scrolls, I think that's going to be an insane unit to carry the game. So if I can get the like Husk Scroll spam, and I'm just like spamming up Pikes and Husks, I feel like it's a really good way to carry the game with Gods. So we're going to go with a classic, classic civilization here with the Gods. And, uh, and we're going to try to win this game, this 1v5. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. Uh, I mentioned it on stream. But the other day, I found out that my brother, uh, one of the, my brothers I knew played the campaign, okay? But I found out my other brother, I have three brothers, but one of my other brothers has been playing all of the campaigns and has finished all of them, including some of the new DLCs. So he's been playing. So I'm going to try to set up, no promises, but I'm going to try to set up a one versus two or one versus three me against my brothers, all right? I'm going to try to set that up for YouTube and uh, and I'm excited to see how that, how that would play out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think they'll enjoy it. I think I'll enjoy it. And I think most importantly, you guys uh, will enjoy it. I grew up playing with my brothers. They introduced me to the game. Uh, so it's only fair that now I can come back and absolutely kick their ass. It's only fair. Just to pay back the favors, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and bring in this first board. All right. Let's go ahead and bring that guy in. Excellent. Very, very nice. One downside with my start, though. I'm very far from the wood. Now, I could take that wood. Or, I could think about something else. I'm not sure exactly how I want to play it out. So why do I have 104 gold? Huh? Oh, it's I get... It's supposed to be 105 gold. I get 5% extra resources. It should be 105 gold. But I guess that's a glitch. Uh, interesting. Fair enough. Bit of a glitch there. Okay. At 5% handicap. Start with 5% extra res. Village is working 5% faster. I'm basically not going to feel it. It's just that I'm going to have a little bit more. It's basically Goths with the Roman bonus. Okay, Roman economy bonus, but I'm Goths. So that's the best way to think about it. If you guys are unfamiliar with how handicap works. But yeah, let's go ahead and run through some strats here. So uh, we're going to start with obviously really good uh, early game. Really, really strong economy. Uh, my plan is going to be to try to get a fast castle off and then defend with my castle drop. And then go into a mix of a boom plus husk roll. Now the thing is, I was debating whether I should go Spanish or Goths, okay? Uh, or, or even like another unique unit set, like for example Mayans. But I felt like in all cases, the unique units would be strong, yes. But I felt like it wouldn't be enough spam. Like I'd be in only one place at, at once. And I felt like with the Goths, I'd have enough spam to be in multiple places at once. Which is probably... Uh, you know, crucial or, or, or needed in this uh, 1v5 scenario. Uh, so although Goth might have, you know, a weaker early game compared to the Spanish, weaker mid game maybe, I think we'll have a much stronger 
uh, you know, later middle game slash late game uh, with all that spam coming through. So that's the game plan. We're going to fast castle, try to go for a castle drop and then play it from there. Uh, we're not going to go all in though. We're going to definitely mix in a good amount of economy. Because the thing with the goth is that a 1 TC economy, you're not spamming much. You know what I mean? Oh, also, these guys should all be scouting. Holy, I'm so bad at this game. I'm playing a Nomad tournament right now, so you'd think I'd be doing well in Nomad. But apparently, I am forgetting the basics. You don't need sheep to send your TC, you need the sheep to scout. Find extra boards like this one over there. Also, the plan was to get Loom, by the way. I forgot about that. Get it now. Uh, excellent. There we go. I'm really taking advantage of those boards now. So, you can already see the strategies kind of coming together nicely, which is uh, which is quite nice. I like that. A loom should be... Yeah, perfect. There it is. You also kill the boards faster, which is... A, a decent bonus. Sometimes it's annoying to have, but... It's a decent bonus. It saves just some time. Not much, because these days we usually kill the, the boars with the town center anyway, but you know, it is there, it's decent. Uh, <gasps> what? I lost it, she had loom, how? Why would she stop? I was getting with sheep. Oh, that's horrible, that's so horrible. Oh god, I, it's so, I'm so embarrassed right now. I am so embarrassed. Whatever. You know, every time I lose a bill, I just feel like there's a group of people, especially you guys watching on YouTube, you guys, you guys can relate to that. All right? At least people are related to it. You know, it happens to us all. It's a good reminder. Gotta stay humble. This game gets the better of us. One way or another. We're gonna attempt a double boiler. All right. Gonna focus up. Uh huh. I'm just saying, the woman died and the man did it first try. Let's see how this woman can do. Holy, she's struggling. Gotta help her out a little bit. Why is she, why is she taking extra hits though? I don't understand. Excellent! Woman does it. So it must have been my fault. It was not the gender after all. Happy birthday, Grant! Oh, I forgot to talk about this. Uh, it's Grant's birthday, all right? And uh, you're gonna see it. We're gonna have something funny. Uh, we have something funny in mind. So basically, Grant is bad bit. He's purple. Uh, we're gonna kill him first, all right? Uh, that's my happy birthday present. Yeah. He won't like it now, but in 10 years, in 10 years, you'll look back and be like, damn, nobody's ever killed me for my birthday. Except Hera. Okay? In game. So that is what our goal is today. Um, I I'm actually joking, by the way. I'm not, I'm not gonna target him. I mean, if I happen to kill him, I kill him, but I I'm not gonna specifically target him. I'm not that mean, come on. But uh, my build is horrible. I'm like up really late. Uh, and I'm lacking a lot of wood. I have a lot of food though. This build is not good at all. This build is not good at all. I'm obviously gonna make it work though. There we go. We're gonna get on to uh stone eventually as well no worries okay. so i know purple's up here red is down here no nobody's that close to me which is quite good let's continue scouting with my sheep the worst thing that's happened so far is that i've lost the bill and i'm up a bit late which is quite bad but it's fine we'll get double bit back right away I have this stone nearby as well, which is very solid. I'll obviously be taking some of that. I want to drop my castle right away because I need some kind of defense. Like, I can't just pure boom. That would be horrible, horrible, horrible. You have to have some kind of defense on the field. Alright, so that's going to wall up a little bit. I just hope I don't get attacked on the, on the 
pop or anything weird. Nothing weird, please. Would be appreciated. A lot of scouting information here. Okay, we'll do we'll do seven. Yeah, I'll do one more house, then seven on stone. That should be good. That'll keep me nice and safe on that side. I'll make my castle much uh, ideally maybe here, but that might not be possible. So if not, then I'll, I'll figure something out. Is this guy gonna go for my sheep? Are you serious? He's found me. It's fine. He's not laming. It's good. That's birthday boy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's birthday boy. All right, all right. Aha! There we go. There we go. Chef kiss. <laughs> uh, actually, it's funny. I, I've been going on voice with the with the people before we start the game. By the way, um. Just, just for fun. I've just been going on voice in a couple minutes just to chat a little bit beforehand, and it's been really fun. Uh, every group is just so chill. It's, it's, it's been, it's been a good experience. It really adds to the game. All right, nice. And these guys, fun group of five guys, just out here trying to have a good time. I had a little bit of banter beforehand as well. We're feeling quite good here. Um, I drop the TC very fast because uh, this guy's kind of breaking my balls a little bit here. Um, bro, bro. Okay, this guy respects me at least. I'm keeping these guys away. Okay, castle should come down. Just so far, a few scouts. Not, not a big problem. Not a big deal. Knights would be a problem. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. We'll defend though. I, I really I could care less about the sheep. It's it's not a it's not a big deal. It's funny that he cares a lot for them. <laughs> so funny that he cares that much. It's not a big deal, bro. You can have them all. I don't care. We're gonna pull those guys back. Continue trying to boom it up a little bit. Oh my god. Please do not use your scouts like this, guys. Dude, they're so lucky there's five of them. That was horrendous. Boys, boys, what's going on? <laughs> that was absolutely horrendous. I think I need to buy my castle, though. Let's try to make my castle right here in the front. I think it's gonna give me a lot of respect. Get a couple more spears out here as well. I'm already booming nicely. I'm the only one in castle, which is very, very good. I'm still getting that bo that goth bonus kicking in too. That castle is gonna get me a little bit of respect, as I mentioned. So it's just gonna keep them a little bit more at bay with their attacks. The spear should go ahead and kick those guys away. Burgundians, you want to fight two gothic spears? Probably not a good idea. But to be fair, you guys have not been playing with good ideas so far. Okay. So I don't expect you guys to start playing with good ideas now. He was diving at TC. So I think diving at castle is not the craziest thing to expect. And here we go. So this is exactly what I wanted. I want to be able to get out some house scrolls now and defend myself versus all kinds of archer pressure while booming. Alright, let's see if this is actually going to work out or not. I need to keep a couple spears at my gold, for example, just to stay safe. Pick this guy apart. Get my gold. Oops. 
Okay. I'm gonna get town watch because I need to see what's going on. Now we got a boom while massive touch goes, and this is really good because most of the time I don't scale very well in these one v five games because they've, they've got way more players. You know, obviously it's it's hard to scale well against five players into the late game. But in this case, I've got goth. I've got extra population naturally with the Civ plus ten, and I also have extra population with my uh, you know with my mod. So I feel I feel like I'm in a good position here. Got I mean, I need to make a mix of pikemen though. It has to be pikes as well. This guy's lift. That's really scary. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, get this upgrade. Get a second one of those. Let's raid this guy a little bit. They're playing with a lot of army. The gothic looking clean. The gothic looking hella clean right about now. No, what is this? What is that? Rebuild for no reason here. Okay, I send them back. I have to continue booming. I think it's the play. Early in, we kill literally everybody on the field. is better than monks by the way because right now they buffed ele elephants against monks you know that right hard to convert them but pikemen we don't care about that change uh, also I'm, I'm raiding green for no reason just decided to raid him uh, maybe for a good reason but look at him it's bulgarians yeah that's birthday boy with bulgarians to raid that guy a little bit oh a lot of lag he's raiding me around there Monastery is still good. Reading green a little bit. The houses have not been placed nicely, but fine. Can you boom me? Get further away here. I wanna, I wanna work for another castle now. Shock the commentary is not very good. Tense ass game. Hear that? I gotta pick up 14. We want it later anyway, so might as well get it early if I can get some value.
when would these people understand that I literally play this game for a living? Don't even try to attack me. Just get out of my base. I, I only do one thing good in life. This game. Stop trying to attack me. Just leave me alone. I'm gonna try to forecast this guy. I need to take one of them out. The Bulgarian player, though, he's not even here. Gus is literally an SDS at first. Alright, that's good enough. I don't even know if it's guy I don't even know if this is some guy's base, but I see two tables. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I gotta take that shit out. I can't push further than this. Get hand curve. Now question is do I go up to him? I think I have to. Food price is super expensive, so you have to buy wood and make food. I'm incredibly strong right now. Naturally, I get arson, kind of. Arson like effect on gods. Uh, what's good is actually university. Like a ballistics. I really want to scale into that late game well. My auto farm isn't working, that's right. Good, that's uh, really bad. Let me just click up the imp soon. I'll just send these guys in. Send my pikes back. Ranges. Hand cannon here, right? You want to go hand cannon? Uh, okay, okay, fine. Pesco should still be hand cannon here, especially with my micro, uh, which should be completely fine. My micro is the best thing that I can use, basically. It's what I have to rely on. And in this game, I have extra pop as well, so I actually have a few things to rely on, not just the micro. Okay, so this guy is really distracted, but those karambits are going to be quite scary. Let's get a castle here to defend my economy. Oh shoot, this is kind of bad though, but hold on, it's fine. We have to just start spamming out some units here in a second. This guy got dead rated. A little bit more stone. Oh, that's annoying. That Bulgarian player is going to be so strong. Birthday boy himself. That Bulgarian player is a huge problem. You're imp, so I, this castle doesn't even hold, but I guess it's better than nothing.
I need to go down. The battles as well. You might be dead. Dealt to the Bulgarians a bit. I have to deal with this guy though. That's my market, which is super random but super annoying. Healus should be kind of dead, but he's being extremely annoying there. Clear that army. That army has to, has to get cleared up. Let's go raid this guy. Or someone. Let's go raid someone. Maybe green. I kind of needed to clean up here. Uh, the late player is really annoying. He should have been dead. I don't know what happened. I raided him. Honestly, they got so many counters to go out. <laughs> what a shame. Like, randomly, Karambits are very good against Goths. They have Gebetos, which are also very good against Goths. Specifically Hospital here, I'm talking about. That's my best unit. Oh, what a shame. I think we're dead. My pop is really low. What a shame. I thought we had it, actually. I feel like we survived the hard part, but then we are so slow to end. Too much damage on the way up. It's hard to defend all the flanks. Can't even engage that. The 10 to 7 Malian Knights. Oh, I can try, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I'll just send them in. Let's go YOLO! But it's too hard. Meat shield that's really strong and a hand cannon here. I'm missing blast furnace as well, it's not looking good. G well played! Uh they did a really good job here. I did a really good job. I, it was, it was looking good, honestly. It was looking good. I, I thought we had them. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we had them, because I, I was surviving like the early parts of the game, which was supposed to be the hard part. Um, but then I was just kind of dying in early end. Very, very well played by them, though. It was really tough to deal with them. And uh, and Teal, I feel like we raided him a lot, but somehow he just uh, managed to hold on. Also, him stonewalling was really annoying because I couldn't attack him again. That was very, very annoying. If I was in a corner, I feel like that would have been better. I, I, it's hard to defend three sides. I think I feel like two sides I was able to deal with. Like this side, I mean, I wasn't dealing with it, but it was okay. And this side was also okay, but it's tough. It's tough. They had a lot of... I felt like they had a lot of good answers to Goth this game. Uh, obviously they went random so it's like impossible for me to to know sometimes it could be like they could have gotten like mayans chinese and some random stuff that sucks for scots uh but they randomly got some really good goth counters so like just having a uh, melee with karambit warriors they had malians with uh gebetos they had hankin and Nirsivs, which is not like the craziest thing but then they also had bulgarians with like the crazy melee armor 
Uh, it was tough to deal with all the different counters on the field with just Husk Scrolls. Uh, it, it was correct though, I made the right call, like Husk Scrolls was perfect. The plan was to push back with Husk Scrolls, start raiding, and then switch to Halb or Champ if I needed. Because um, I can't open with Halb or Champ, obviously, it would just get cooked. Um, if I had it my way though, I would have liked to have Bomber Cannons out to help deal with the hand cannons even more, maybe. Yeah. If I was able to get there, but it was just a bit too difficult. A little bit too difficult. I'm not even sure what I could have done better in hindsight. Maybe let me know in the comments if it's something I missed. But it was a really fun game. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, ha had a blast playing it. Shout out to these guys as well for, for, for hopping on. And happy birthday once again to Bad Bits. Couldn't kill him, sadly. Did I even hit his base? I think I, think I said a few things this way. I kept him busy. Uh, but yeah, it was a very, very fun, uh, fun game. Uh, fun group of guys. And uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Check me out on Twitch or Patreon if you guys want Twitch live streams, Patreon exclusive guides and content. And, uh, you know, links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace. Good Bill High. Peace.